Minuakas and Shakas, it's me, Pu'ukani of Pipeline Paradise Radio, reporting for IslandSportsMedia.com, your ultimate island-style sports magazine. The 2010 University of Hawaii football campaign kicked off in a big way as Hawaii welcomed to the Aloha Stadium, the powerhouse from the Pac-10, the 14th-ranked USC, the game nationally televised on ESPN. The Warriors and Trojans met six previous times with USC winning each game, including a 63-17 victory in the last meeting in 2005 at Aloha Stadium. Capacity crowd on hand with thunder sticks in hand, geared up and revved up to root on their home team. Hawaii won the coin toss and elected to receive, but failed to do anything on their first possession. USC's first possession, however, resulted differently. Quarterback Matt Barkley found receiver David Osbury for a short pass, but a missed tackle by cornerback Lemetrius Davis resulted in a 46-yard touchdown. The Trojans went for two points, but failed. USC 6, Hawaii 0. Warriors offense behind the strength and arm of quarterback Bryant Muniz got things going when running back Alex Green broke out of the pack sprinting for 29 yards into the red zone. But USC's defense stiffened, forcing UH kicker Scott Enos to boot a 24-yard field goal. Midway through the first, USC 6, Hawaii 3. On USC's next possession, quarterback Barkley bootleg right, finding wide receiver Ronald Johnson for the one-yard touchdown. Hanaho on the two-point conversion, Barkley to Johnson, and at the end of the first, it's USC 14, Hawaii 3. Second quarter began the way the first quarter ended, with USC quarterback Barkley connecting with receiver Rhett Ellison for a six-yard touchdown. Two-point conversion failed again, USC 20, Hawaii 3. Back came the Warriors for eight plays and 69 yards, resulting in a 40-yard field goal by Enos. 26, USC with the lead. Warriors defense showed some life with a big stance, forcing USC to punt, giving Hawaii's offense a chance to shine. Hawaii wasted no time capitalizing on the momentum shift with quarterback Muniz launching a 56-yard pass to slot receiver Kealoha Pilaris. Under three minutes left in the second, it was USC 20, Hawaii 13. USC special teams produced good plays all night as they returned the ensuing kickoff to nearly midfield. Same script for USC as quarterback Barkley connected again for a touchdown with receiver Ronald Johnson. USC 27, Hawaii 13. The following possession the Warriors marched down the field within one minute as quarterback Muniz hit preseason All-American wide receiver Greg Salas for what seemed like a clear touchdown even on instant replay but officials stuck with their original call ruling the ball down at the one yard line controversial call led to a strong defensive hold by USC Hawaii closed the half with field goal number three by kicker Enos at halftime USC 27 Hawaii 16 third quarter action USC drew first blood with an amazing 89-yard punt return for a touchdown by who else? None other than wide receiver slash punt returner Ronald Johnson. USC 34, Hawaii 16. Hawaii immediately fought back like true warriors pushing their way down the field. Scary moment for UH on the drive as quarterback Muniz rumbled for 13 yards but took a direct blow to the head. No flagrant foul called by the officials. Muniz was taken to the locker rooms for review and x-rays, not returning to game play. Two plays later, running back Alex Green scampered in from one yard out, untouched for the touchdown. USC 34, Hawaii 23. But as quickly as Hawaii scored, the Trojans did it one better. A huge pass reception by USC's Havili for 49 yards sets up another USC touchdown again. Barkley to Johnson for his third receiving touchdown, four in total on the night. Two-point conversion was successful. At the end of the third, it was USC 42, Hawaii 23. UH then brought on second string quarterback Brent Roush, who connected on a big pass with wide receiver Royce Pollard. Roush then hit receiver Bradley in stride in the end zone, but Bradley dropped the pass, one of six drop passes on the night for Hawaii. Roush was then sacked on fourth down. Warriors failed to score, but the Warriors defense behind the charge of Smith and Silva stepped up and came away with a big turnover. First and 10 Hawaii on their own 24. Hawaii then decided to 
play third string quarterback Shane Austin who came in and immediately gave life to UH. Austin not skipping a beat quickly moved the offense down the field and connected on a massive 65 yard touchdown pass to Kealoha Pilaris. USC 42 Hawaii 30 but a bad kickoff and penalty gave USC great field position starting their drive on the Warriors 44 yard line on the very first play running back Mark Tyler took the handoff and bolts it for the end zone only eight seconds later it was USC 49 Hawaii 30 Austin and company continued to press forward and in the closing minutes of the game Austin and Pilaris hooked up again for the touchdown the third on the night for Kealoha Pilaris although going down in defeat Hawaii amassed 588 yards of total offense against USC the final score from Aloha Stadium USC 49 Hawaii 36 after the game big wave Dave had a chance to talk with several Warriors about the Thursday night fight starting with junior linebacker Corey Paredes hey Corey there's a first game against SC you guys gave them a run for your money what's something that from tonight's game you guys can take from and get ready for Army well I think offensively the offense came to play I mean I couldn't expect more from them they shouldn't have to score more than 36 points to win a football game so I mean I take the responsibility for this I think our defense is coming together we're meshing together and I think we we'll play as one and next game we just gotta come know what we're doing and just play hard Big Wave also talked with linebacker George Daly Lyles your first game as a, as a freshman you're going up against this team that growing up that these most California boys dream of playing you know uh, what was going through your mind coming out of that tunnel? I died for my boys growing up that feels the, the place to go and apparently I didn't go so it's them versus us I bleed green now you guys had USC up on the ropes you know there was some questionable calls but the offense came to play you know you guys went up and up with USC you know what's something that going next week up against Army that you guys can take from this game you just gotta grow from every game this one was the first game you gonna have jitters as I did you gonna have miscommunications and busts and you just gotta grow from that every week you gotta get better and this is our starting point and it's not a bad starting point so next week when we go to Army it's gonna be another game another chance to grow as a team and yet another Another member on the defense, lineman Von Meatonga. Von, after the game like tonight, when you guys took on USC's running game, a lot of people talk highly of USC, but you know, you guys are able to, you know, maintain your own. You know, what's something that from today that you can uh, prepare for next week and the next two weeks on the road? Just being better in all aspects, getting lined up, getting lined up correctly, getting lined up fast. But a lot of us, coach around the said maybe like three quarter of, of this game was all bust on, on the defense, not getting lined up right. So uh, can you imagine how this game would have gone? if we did line up right but props to them they came out firing and uh, the better team won today next week going to army being one of the leaders so what's something that you can share with your your teammates as far as this next two weeks on the road i well, just gotta stay focused stay on the straight and narrow path just don't get distracted from what our goal is we really gotta put in the work put in the time we've seen our potential and uh, we just gotta bring it on big wave also caught up with true freshman alan sampson a few months ago you were graduating high school and our first game stepping up again um, USC when coach um, notified you a few days ago maybe that you're um, going to play you know what was going to your mind being your first game against USC well at camp I was just practicing hard training hard and they told me if I don't want to rest I don't have to as long as I do well on the field and I felt like I could play so when I got on the field like I just I prayed that they put me in and when I got in I just tried to make the most of my opportunity coming from Plant High School you um, come from a program that turned us a big name player being on the road two freshmen was something that you can draw back in high school that can prepare you. In high school I played at the class 5A and like that's like the biggest class in um, Florida so you know my coach always made an atmosphere just like a college atmosphere so I feel like I was prepared and ready for whatever you know so when I got out here I just thought about all those players like you said that came out of school and I really want, wanted to represent for my, in my city. And finally big wave talk with quarterback Shane Austin. Going into this game, you were third string, but you came in and next thing you know, throwing touchdowns like it's USC. How excited are you about what this offense can do? Well, I think this this offense, you know, it, it's, it's clicking. Our offense is definitely looking good. It would be nice to get that W. I mean, we're close, but uh, it's just something to build off of from there. You know, there's a lot of good things and a lot of things we left on the field. A lot of plays we could have had, you know, we could have even had a better offensive production. But, uh, you know, it's just things to look at in film and uh, get better from and, uh, you know, bring it to Army with everything we got. It was a tough battle. 
battle at home, but the overall effort was applauded even in defeat. The Warriors get an extra few days to rest up and prepare for their next game on the road versus Army. Kickoff 6.02 in the morning, Hawaii time. Go Warriors! I'm Pu'ukani of Pipeline Paradise Radio reporting for IslandSportsMedia.com, your ultimate island-style sports magazine.